Hey everyone, I'm back from my haircut, which means I'm back from the thrift store. So I thought I'd show you my goodies. Um, I put this here just because it gave you something to look at, and that's not really the point. Well, we'll get to it. Okay, anyway, first of all, look at this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful paper. I'm in love with it. It was 50 cents. It's so pretty. Okay, so we have that. And then for 10 cents, we had this pink lined paper. None of which I need. You do understand that, right? That I don't need any of this. It's ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, so then we also have, wait, let me find the end. Oh my word. Where's the end? Well, I don't know where the end is. Here's some trim that I found. It's like a, a white, I think it's, yeah, it's, it's more on the white side. There's pretty wide lace, which is very pretty. I just said it was pretty and then I said it's very pretty. Do I need to go back to bed and start this day over? Because I'm just having a problem. Okay, and then here's this other one that I found, which I really like. This is a cream color. And I like the fact that it's scalloped on both sides as the other one kind of is too. And um, it's got a little bit of texture to it. So I think there were about seven or eight yards of each one which is nice. So I have these big piles of big piles of lace. And so then there's this box that I found because you know I like to make the albums inside the boxes. Jingle bells. It has jingle bells on it. And then when I opened it up when I was buying it, there was this thing on the lid which I don't know what it is. If it's supposed to play music perhaps, but I'll be taking it off and then if it leaves a mark, I'll cover it up with something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's a tracking device and somebody's spying on where this goes. Nope, it just, look, it's peeling right off. Let's take it off. Let's experiment. Oh, look, it is a musical thing. See, it was supposed to play a song, but um, it doesn't, which is fine because I don't need it to. So we're just going to throw that out. So anyway, so now we have this lovely box that I can put a, maybe a Christmas Carol themed album in. And inside the box, we have all the other goodies that I found because it just seemed easy to put it in the box. So first we have this gingham. It's like a tan gingham. There are, looks like three yards of it. It doesn't look like it could possibly be three yards. Well, it doesn't matter because it's still fantastic and I can tear it into strips and use it. Look, you can see what's coming. Is that fun for you or not? Or should I move that out of the picture? We'll move it out of the picture. So then I got these um, animal flashcards, which were probably a little more than I should have spent on them, but look at them. Look at that. It's an armadillo. It's a mouse on wheat. It's a turtle looking longingly at a dragonfly. A horse, a dog, kitties. Anyway, those are fun. So we got those. They had a fair number of different types of cards or different things that I considered, but in the end only went with certain ones. Okay, so look at this. So here we have the economy package of photo corners for mounting photos. And I just think these are super cool. Super, super cool. So we have those and oh wait, we have two more packages of them. Hmm. Okay. Then we have these, which clearly somebody cut out of the square that they were on, but I just thought they looked really cool as a circle. So I got those because I like sewing things. I'm feeling very subdued and not so talkative. I'll try and change that. Okay. So look at this cute, cute, cute little trim. It's so tiny. And it looks like, I don't know that they're supposed to be hearts, but those kind of look like hearts. So that was a quarter for this trim. And I like skinny little trims. I like fat trims too, but I really like the little tiny ones like this. Okay, moving on. In here we have some Christmas gift tags. Chris had set 24 jar bonnets and tags. Hmm. Well, let's see what that is. It's a jar bonnet. You know what? I think you put it, like if you're canning something, you put that on the top and then you screw the lid on and it makes a little wrinkle maybe. I don't know. It's got some birds and some houses. Some of them say things about kitchens from my kitchen to yours, but not all of them do. Although those are fun, but that is not why I bought it. 
I bought it for these little round tags. Whoops, I ripped the bag. Well, who cares? Look at those strings that come with them. Oh, they're already on the strings. Anyway, I just thought these... What is that? Is that a cat? That is weird looking. Anyway. Um, oh my word, what is that? That's a reindeer. And there's... Oh, so those must match. Anyway, I just thought these round things were kind of cute. So, And it was 25 cents. 25 cents. Sometimes I think I just buy this stuff so I have stuff to show you. That is terrible. Because why am I buying it if I don't need it? But I wouldn't buy it if I didn't like it also. So uh, anyway. Okay. So here we have some more lace. They had a, they don't have a lot of individual laces anymore like that you can buy by the yard. But they seem to have a lot in individual bags. So we got that, which is a different kind of pattern. I like that. Again with the scallop. I like these wide, whoops. I like these wide laces when I do wedding albums because then you can kind of layer them behind the mat and it just kind of gives a really nice look to it. Okay, here is some pink trim. I kind of was on the fence about this one, but then I got it after all. You know, little girls and whatnot. P baby albums are very popular in my world. I do a lot of baby albums. I get very bored doing baby albums after a while, but hey, they sell. So, all right, moving on. I think there's another lace in here. Oh, but wait, first we have some more of this muslin-y, cotton-y, linen -y stuff because I can't resist it and it was a dollar. Seriously. I should dye it. Okay, they hardly ever have any good doilies anymore either. And you know, I haven't seen my little doily lady recently, the gal who um, who was my buddy. But they did have a couple things today. So I got this set of two. And um, I'm assuming it's crochet. So we got those and then we also got these, which aren't crocheted, but they're kind of fun looking. Big flowers, so two of those. Let's reach into the magic bag box. And I got this tape measure. Now, I got some tape measures the other day, the white ones, and they're cool and they're okay, but this is like the old cloth kind. Ooh, it says something on it. Pocket tape for estimating live weight. No! <laughs> You're kidding me! Okay, pocket tape for estimating live weight of cow. To estimate weight, place tape around the cow's body, directly back to front. Legs of heart girth. The tape reading will give the estimated weight in pounds. Handle tape with care. Okay, I'm sorry, but this is clearly, <laughs> clearly the best thing that's happened in a long time. <laughs> Here I'm thinking it's a tape measure for seamstresses, and it's to estimate the weight of your cattle. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I might have to hang that up just so you can see it because it's so fantastic. Oh, shoot. Okay, cards. Here is the Red Hat Society. Remember at, um, when I went at Tiki the other day, I bought them and it had things like teapots and whatnot on it. Well, this is the set that I didn't buy because it was more expensive and this one has all sorts of hats. Oh, did that one have grapes in it? It sure does. <laughs> and a pear. Who would wear a pear on their hat? That'd be a heavy hat. Anyway, so I bought the other set. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got to make that album. I got to make a lot of albums. Okay, then here we have, look at this, Daniel Boone card game. Under siege. Dun, dun, dun. At the fort. Lion attack. How cool ambushed captured okay so anyway so i'm not really sure what the practical use of this would be for me <laughs> but because i collect these games i can't resist it was 75 cents and then the last thing look this is the most boring thing last well i don't really think it's boring but you might it's the webster's pocket spelling dictionary <laughs> and it's just a bunch of words now first of all i really really love words second of all these teacher gifts that I'm doing for Joy's teachers for the end of the year, the English teacher, um, they do vocabulary and this is feeling like it could be useful. So anyway, so that is my haul from the thrift store today. 
Um, man, my bill was a lot more than I thought it was going to be, given what I have here. Now I feel like I need to check out my receipt and make sure they did it right. Oh, something what? What was two twenty-five? I don't think anything was two twenty-five. Oh, I see. It wasn't two twenty-five. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I think it was five at seventy-five cents. Does that is that two twenty-five? No, that's over that. Well, it doesn't matter. But anyway, um, well, if she overcharged me, I'm not gonna really have a hissy fit about it because um, it this goes to MCC, um, just like the relief sale the other day. But I'm trying to figure out what on earth was two twenty-five. There were two things in here at two twenty-five. That's not right. Now I'm peeved, but not really. Because um, the most expensive thing I bought was this box, and it was $2. There it is, $1.99. Oh, I see. Three at 75 comes out to 225 Okay, now I'm not stressed anymore. <laughs> I have to, I don't know, take a nap or something. All right, so here's my little haul. Thanks so much for watching. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I'm sorry, I feel really off my game today. Maybe I'll be back later in the week, more on, on point. So anyway, I hope you all have a great day and enjoyed seeing this, and I will hopefully see you soon. Bye.